Hi guys and welcome to my channel. This is going to be introduction to C-sharp programming language. So in this video you are going to learn what is C-sharp, what kind of applications we can build with C-sharp, what is the difference between C-sharp and other programming languages, and together we are going to build your first C-sharp application. So I decided to divide this video into two parts. The first part will be shorter and we are going to talk about some general stuff that is important related to C-sharp. And then in the second part of the video, we will install the tool that we need to write C-sharp applications. And then together we are going to create your first C-sharp application. And if you would like to learn practical programming, I have an entire C-sharp practical programming course, which is beginner friendly. It's step-by-step. -step. Everything is on one place from beginner to expert. In the course, we will focus on building real-world applications so that you can get all of the programming skills and practical experience that you need to build the applications that you want, and also you will get career-ready skills. So in this course, I'm going to share over 10 years of my experience in a beginner-friendly way so that you can also start building applications on your own in as little as three months. You will also get access to an exclusive community of developers so that in this process of learning, you are not alone, lost, or confused because if you have a question, there will always be someone to help you very fast so that you can progress in an optimal way. And the first 100 people who sign up using the link in the description will get a special discount. So if you want to learn practical programming and start building real applications, Click the link and you can start your transformation from beginner to expert developer immediately. So with that being said, let's go to the topic of this video. So the first question that I want to answer is what is C Sharp? C Sharp is very powerful and versatile programming language. It is developed by Microsoft and it is very, very popular. You can use it to build many different types of applications. You can build modern desktop applications, mobile applications, games, simple websites, very big, complex applications, and so much more. Uh, it is beginner friendly, which means that it is suitable to learn as your first programming language, but also if you already know another programming language like maybe C++, Java, JavaScript, Python, and so on, that knowledge will definitely help you because C Sharp is very similar to many other programming languages. Now, I'm sure that as a beginner, you probably heard about many different programming languages. So now you are wondering which one is the best and which one you should pick. Um, I want you to understand that programming languages are very similar. In what way? Well, when you learn one programming language, then you start seeing patterns in other programming languages. So it becomes very easy to switch to another programming language, much easier than to learn your first programming language. The same way that uh, when you learn to drive a car and then you buy another car, it is not going to be as hard to switch to that other car because you already know how to drive. It will just take you a few days to get used to the new car. So it's the same with programming languages. But with that being said, they are also very different because they have different purpose. As I said, with C Sharp, you can build most of the modern applications that you and me are using every day. So modern desktop applications, mobile applications, games, websites, and so on. That is the purpose of C Sharp. But if you want to build, um, let's say devices that are very close to hardware, maybe devices that have very limited resources like memory and processing power, such as different sensors in automobiles, um, cars, um, and then different medical devices like pacemakers, heart monitors, and things like that, or some security systems like smart door locks or security cameras and things like that, then you wouldn't choose C Sharp because there are other languages which are better for that. So what are some other benefits of C Sharp? C Sharp is modern programming language. It is very fast. It is very clean and organized, which makes it very beginner friendly, easy to understand and learn for beginners. Also, demand for C Sharp developers is very, very high. A lot of companies are looking for C Sharp developers to build different applications, games, and other cool software. Uh, so if you decide to learn C Sharp, you will definitely have a lot of job opportunities. 
With C-Sharp, you can build all kinds of things, as I already said, from very small, simple websites to very big, complex applications. And the main benefit is that C-Sharp is cross-platform, which means that your applications can work on Windows, Mac, and Linux operating systems. C-Sharp community is huge and it is usually very helpful, which means that if you ever encounter a problem and you need help, most likely there is someone out there who has already faced the same problem and he solved it, so you can always find help. Uh, and probably you will find that help on Stack Overflow, which is like developer's online Bible. You will see. When it comes to learning, C Sharp is beginner friendly, which means that you can start learning and building things right away. So you can immediately apply your knowledge. And as an example of that, I'm going to link a video here and also in the description. And in that video, we are building a real useful application in a simple and easy way with C Sharp. So if you want to check that out, the link will be in the description. Now, in order to write C-sharp code and create applications, you need a tool for that. And my recommendation is to install Visual Studio IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, and it means that it has everything that you need to create applications. So we have a place to write code, we can start our application, we can debug, which means we can discover and fix bugs, and a lot more. And the best part is that community version is completely free and it is enough to build any kind of application that you want. So my recommendation is to install Visual Studio 2022. It's completely free and now I'm going to show you where you can download it and how to install it. So go to Google and type Visual Studio 2022 community and click on this official Microsoft link. Okay, go to downloads. And here you are going to download community version because it is free. Okay, save. And here is my installer file. So I'm going to click on that. Click on run. And here we get Visual Studio installer. So click on continue. The installation process is very simple. It's mostly next, next, finish. So let's wait for this to install. Okay, and here you are going to select .NET Desktop Development. That is going to be enough for what we need to build C Sharp applications. But as you can see, there are many other things that you can do with Visual Studio. But for us, this one is going to be enough. So click on Install. And now we are going to wait for a few minutes for this to be installed. The installation process is finished and now it recommends that we should restart our computer. For some of you, it might work without restarting, but just to be sure, I recommend that you restart your computer and then we will continue. So I will restart mine and then I'll be back. So start your Visual Studio and here we are going to create our first project. So click on create a new project. Okay. It's loading everything. And the type of application that I want to build is C Sharp console application. If you cannot see it here, you can search it. So type C Sharp console app. Okay, it is this one here. And please make sure that it is C Sharp and not Visual Basic or some other language. And also, as I told you, it is cross-platform as you can see here. So this application is going to work on Linux, Mac, and Windows. So let's select that and click on Next. Okay, and here we are going to give the name to our application. Let's call it My First App. Everything should be together. So My First App and click on Next. Okay, and here we are choosing Framework. You can leave this as it is. So just click on Create. Okay, and now it is creating everything that we need for our application. So this is what we will get when the project is created. And this that you can see here is already functional small application. So now I'm going to run it so that you can see how it looks like. And then we are going to explain how this works. So in order to start the application, you can press on this little play button, or you can go to debug and click on start debugging or press F5 on your keyboard, whichever you prefer. So click on this and now the application is going to start. 
Okay, as you can see, this is the application that we have. It says, hello world. And then this here is some junk text that is generated by Visual Studio. And at the end, it says, press any key to close this window. So if I press any key, it is going to close the console. Now, as I said, the black window that you just saw is called console. And that is exactly what our application does. It says, in the console, I am going to write the following line. And that line is this text here. So this command here will write this line of text in our console. And this is your first C-sharp program. Now, if I want to write something else, I will simply change this text here. So let's say, like this video, wink, wink. Okay, and I'm going to start my program. And as you can see, we get this text in our console. Now, there are a few more things that I want to explain. So let's close this program. Okay, this symbol here, semicolon, is a symbol that you use to end each command. So this is one command, and to tell to your computer, hey, here is the end of the command, you put this symbol, okay? And then this here is a comment, and you can write comments in the code for yourself or other developers so that you can better understand and remember what a certain line of code does. For example, here we can say to learn practical programming, visit codebeautyacademy.com. Now, please notice the difference between this text here and this text here. This here is a comment, which means that you can put anything that you want. You can write any text that you want. And as long as you put it under a comment, which you do by writing two slash symbols, you will not have any problems. But this here is C sharp code, which means that you need to follow C sharp syntax, otherwise you are going to have errors. For example, if I put here two dots instead of one, we are going to get an error because this here is not valid C-sharp syntax. So let's delete that and the error will disappear. And then here, as I said, because this here is a comment, you can write anything that you want, but just make sure that you add two slash symbols in front of it. Another important part is this part here. It's called Solution Explorer. And if you cannot see it, go to View. And here you should find Solution Explorer. It is here, so click on that. And you should be able to see Solution Explorer. And as you can see here, we have program.cs, which is the file where we will be writing c -sharp code. Now, there are many more important and interesting things that we will learn in the upcoming videos. And just one last that I want to show you is in case that you make any mistake or any error, you can go to view and then click on error list. And here you should see all of the errors that you have in your program. Right now we have zero errors, but if I click here, let's say I add another dot, as you can see, here we get three errors just by adding one simple dot. Okay, so let's delete that and the errors should disappear. Okay, now one more thing that I want to show you before I end this video is for some of you, this code might look like this and it is absolutely the same thing. This program is going to do absolutely the same thing as the previous one. Here it just says that we have a class called program, which is this file here where we are writing our code. And then this here is main function. And if you already learned any other programming language, you know that any program starts its execution from the main function, which means that the first line that will be executed in your program is the first line of your main function, and that is this line here. So if I run this program, we will get absolutely the same result as the previous. Okay, as you can see, it says, like this video. So I believe it is going to be enough for this lesson. In the next lesson, we will write more code and I will teach you how to create some really cool apps. So if you enjoyed this video and if you learned something new, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you have any questions, leave those in the comment section so that I can reply to your comment. 
or I can make a dedicated video about that specific topic that you ask about. And if you want to learn practical programming, if you want to build real world applications, then definitely check out my practical programming course. The link will be in the description. So if you enjoy my teaching style and if you want me to be your mentor and take you from beginner to expert developer, then definitely sign up for the course and you can start your transformation from beginner to expert immediately. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.